much, they've grown so much, and it's just been a joy to have them in class today. We thank you, the parents, for allowing us the blessing and the privilege of being a part of their lives this year. Um, today we would like to present some of the things that we learned this year, um, and we hope that you will enjoy it. But before we start today, I'd like to ask Mr. Fry to open us a word in a word of prayer. Well, let me add my welcome as well. We're so glad each of you is here. And of course, we've got some young ones and an extra audience on either side. We're looking forward to that. All right. I'll just wait for the last picture to get done here. We can. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you love it when somebody does that to you? <laughs> but I don't want to make sure you have all the time. Right, let's, let's pray and we'll get started. Our dear Lord, we thank you so much for the privilege of working with these little ones this year. Thank you for the growth we've seen in them. Uh, Lord, not just physical growth as they've gotten taller, but uh, Lord, as they've learned, they've learned reading and writing. They've learned so many other life skills. Lord, thank you most of all for what they've learned about you. And uh, Lord, I pray that uh, this would be an excellent presentation today. Be with each boy and girl, be with Mrs. Mansfield, Mrs. Fischel. And uh, Lord, we just ask that all that's done now would be glorifying to you and to your name. We ask these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, if you can just stay seated during the program, I think it would be very helpful to the kids. If they see you walking up, they're going to get distracted, so I appreciate your help in that way. Mrs. Mansfield. And the K3 class presents to you the play of the Little Lost Lamb. When Jesus lived here on earth, he often told stories. He told these stories to help people understand a lesson he was trying to teach them. Here is a story he told to mothers and fathers and boys and girls just like you a long time ago. Once there was a good shepherd. The shepherd took care of 100 sheep. Each sheep had a name, and when the shepherd talked to them, he would call them by their name. The shepherd loved all of his sheep very much. Every morning, the good shepherd took his sheep to pasture to find fresh green grass to eat and clean, cool water to drink. He led his sheep very carefully on safe paths, and he always made sure that they were safe from any wild animals that might hurt them. The good shepherd took very good care of his sheep. One day, a little lamb decided she did not want to follow the good shepherd any longer. She disobeyed the shepherd and went off all by herself. At first, she had fun, running and jumping wherever she wanted to go. But then she realized that she had wandered too far away from the good shepherd, and now she was lost. The little lamb got so scared, she started running and ran right into a thorn bush. She ran right into the thorn bush, and oh no, she was stuck. In the meantime, the shepherd decided to take his sheep back home for the night. The shepherd led his sheep back home, and as he let them into the sheepfold, he began to count to make sure that they were all there. But wait, something was wrong. One of his little lambs was missing. The shepherd knew he must go out and find his little lost lamb. So the shepherd went back out into the pasture looking for his little lamb. The shepherd looked high, he looked low, 
and still he could not find his little lamb. Then he heard a sound. <laughs> it was the little lost lamb. The shepherd was so happy. Oh, little lamb, I have found you, he cried. He gently got his little lamb out of the thorn bush and brought her safely back home. The little lamb decided she would always obey her good shepherd and never leave him again. Have you guessed? who the good shepherd is in this story? That's all right. It is Jesus. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. He wants boys and girls, big people and little people, to be his lambs. Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. The Lord is our shepherd.
let's do the letters. Oh, who can make the flowers? I'm sure I can, can you? Oh, who can make the flowers? No one but God is true. Oh, who can make the flowers? Alexander, alligator, Alexander, alligator, A says A, 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 Apple, Adam, Africa, astronaut and acrobat, A says A, 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 Betsy B, Betsy B, B says B, 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 balloon and Bible, One, two, three, four, five. 
spy, one side caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on the <laughs> okay, now everybody needs to go back and we're going to spread out. Learned in fun time, and this one is called the banana song. You ready? <coughs> Start the orange. Form the orange. Form, form the orange. Form the orange. Form, form the orange. Peel the orange. Peel, peel the orange. Peel the orange. Peel, peel the orange. Squeeze the orange. Squeeze, squeeze the orange. Squeeze the orange. Squeeze, squeeze the orange. Form the corn. Form, form the corn. Form the corn. Form, form the corn. Husk the corn. Husk, husk the corn. Husk the corn. Husk, husk the corn. Pop. Form, form the mango. Form the mango. Form, form the mango. Peel the mango. Peel, peel the mango. Peel the mango. Peel, peel the mango. Do the tango. Do, do the tango. Do the tango. Do, do the tango. Form the banana. Form, form the banana. Form the banana, form, form the banana, peel the banana, peel, peel the banana, peel the banana, peel, peel the banana, go bananas, go, go bananas, go bananas, go, go bananas. Very good. <laughs> about uh, their songs and, and uh, the program today. It's been a great year as Mr. Fry and Mrs. Mansfield have already uh, expressed their appreciation, but thank you again for allowing us the privilege of working with your children uh, throughout this year. Uh, a lot of times I don't have a lot of direct contact with the children, but most of the time when they're going up and down through the hallways, I'll hold my hand out and they'll give me a five, you know, as they're going by. And, and uh, we certainly enjoy uh, your children every day. Just want to close with a, a couple of verses out of the Gospel of Mark. It says this, And they brought young children to Jesus, that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought him. Kind of strange, isn't it? They didn't want 
Jesus to be bothered. But then it says, when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer or allow the children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall not enter into heaven. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. And so Jesus was interested in little children. He loved little children. And he uh, said, well, allow them to come unto me. And then he made a very strange statement. He said, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter heaven or enter therein in the kingdom. What Jesus is saying there is we have to go back to almost like a childlike faith. We have to believe, you know, your children are at a point where, where they will believe readily what's taught them. And that's what uh, God is saying about all of us, that we need to believe what He says like a little child and have faith in what He says. And uh, then it says He took them up in His arms, put His hands upon them, and blessed them. Uh, they didn't sing it, but I'm sure they have sung it in their class, Jesus loves little children. And, uh, and uh, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son back. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so it's been a joy to uh, watch your children learn and watch them grow. And uh, we trust that this has been a, a blessing to all of you as well to see your children develop and grow. Let's have a word of prayer and then you'll be dismissed to go down to the classroom this morning. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this special time of recognizing growth and achievement in our children. We thank you that indeed they are growing and they are learning. And uh, Father, thank you for the readiness of mind and heart uh, with which children learn and understand. And, and Father, thank you for creating our, our minds and our hearts and our lives as you did. And Father, we pray that we might use those minds and hearts and bodies to uh, know you better and, and to serve you. Thank you for the time of refreshments. Thank you for these parents and for the little ones. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Thank you. I guess you can be dismissed at this time and head down to the K3 classroom. Thank you. For